Hey guys, it's Dennis with Bombay, um, also known as Deep Bandana Dude for some reason. Yeah, but today I wanted to talk about something really, really cool, which is installing Electra Tweaks right onto the device. Uh, so, as you may or may not know, the current Electra Jib requires you to SSH into your device uh, using a Mac or a PC, which is a little bit troublesome because not everyone has access to a PC at all times and uh, not everyone wants to use a PC to install the tweaks. So uh, the current issue is that Phil's escaped, the file manager of choice by iOS 11 users, does not support extracting files, uh, not at the moment at least, which is very sad, but there's nothing we can do about that, uh, not until we get a full-fledged jailbreak at least. So uh, the workaround for this right now is to use a package downloader done by one of my good friends, Sonic. And uh, the second thing is to use a dip to zip converter which is also super useful. Uh, the third thing is to use Phil's Escape, and uh, the fourth thing is to use Zip Extractor. Links to all of these will be down in the description right below the like button, so make sure to uh, download those. And uh, without further ado, let's just get started. Okay guys, so first of all, you need to jailbreak your device with Electra, which is the jailbreak tool released by Coolstar for iOS 11 devices. And if you don't know how to jailbreak, this video is most probably not meant for you, so uh, just keep that in mind. And uh, secondly, you need to have Phil's Escape installed. Uh, however, as Phil's Escape has an issue with extracting files, uh, you cannot, cannot really like download packages straight from the web and extract them and fills up. This is where another tool steps in, which is called... Yeah, what was it called? Where is it? Here we go. Zip Extractor. Zip Extractor is um, very simple and straightforward uh, packaging manager, which is filled with ads, but that's all right. Uh, it's all free, so you can't really complain. And uh, you will be using this tool in order to extract dev packages. However, as this app does not actually support dev packages, you can see it, I have all my tweaks in zip format. Uh, so first of all, you need to navigate to Sonic's latest tool, which is the uh, Cydia search tool. I don't believe it has an actual name, however, uh, it should be good enough. Anyways, uh, it's a great tool which allows you to download basically any free uh, dev file of the default Cydia repositories with a tweak which you want. So let's say we want blurry badges. Uh, blurry badges, uh, but just here we go. Blurry badges is a tweak which makes your home screen badges like this one blurry it's just as the name said uh, so here we go we have a result for blurry badges here's view and download that here we go so instead of actually opening it fills which won't actually be uh, useful at all you open it with the files uh, app, the one included with iOS 11 by default. And you need to save the dev file onto the device. I choose to save it in the Electra folder, which I don't know how, but it automatically popped up once I uh, jbroke with Electra. So I believe it should be there for you as well. If not, you can save it in your iCloud drive as well, or any other folder you have on your iPhone. So let's just add it and we are done. The package has been downloaded, so next up, you need to use a dev to zip converter. Uh, dev to zip converter. Here we go. And we have a couple different options. I'll choose this one. I believe it, it even has an app. However, I'm not entirely sure how well that would work out. So I'll just go with select files here. Uh, browse. And we have blurry badges right here. And uh, we are ready. So uh, let's just start the conversion. Here we go. I was converted. Let's just, there we go. Uh, now we can open it in zip extractor, which we are going to do right here. Now we extract it, and we should see. Here we go. We have the whole folder. All right, thank you. We have the whole folder 
uh, extractor right here. Uh, everything that's necessary. Move our substrate, preference loader, and preference bundles. So we just head out from this app. Open Filza once again. And we need to navigate to the actual uh, documents folder of that app. Uh, I will leave the whole uh, path in the description so you can navigate it to yourself. However, I have it saved as a bookmark so I could just open it right there and I highly recommend you do that as well. So blur badges, you open blur badges, library and now we have mobile substrate. Uh, dynamic libraries, you copy these files and uh, I actually don't have those activated right now but uh, that should work just fine anyway. So you copy those files, you navigate to this folder right here, bootstrap, library, as we inject. I also recommend you add that as a bookmark and I will leave the path down in the description if you got confused. Paste it right here. And now we are done with this part. We need to go head back, head back into a folder. Preference loader, preferences, copy, and just do the same preference loader, preferences, paste. I actually have this file already because I installed this earlier, so I'm just going to replace. Preference bundles this is the last one. You just need to copy the whole folder. And uh, there we go. I also have this one installed already. Oops. I also have this one installed already, so I'm just going to replace the whole thing. And now we're done. It's uh, all on your device. However, as you can see, my badges are still not really blurry and just plain red as usual. So what you're gonna do is open Anemone. Oh, my iPhone is a little bit unresponsive. Anyway, so preview and apply. There we go. Now after it has resprung, it should hopefully work as expected. Yeah. There we go. Just like this. You see? The badges are all blurry and uh, definitely not red and the default iOS badge as you have seen earlier. So the tweak succeeded. You can see this one is red because the YouTube app icon is red. This one is whitish because the Photos app icon is whitish. And everything works perfectly and I did not need a computer for this at all. Everything was done on device. So make sure to check out the devs who made this possible down in the description. You can check out my Twitter as well and uh, I'll see you in the next one.